grateful for the opportunity to speak in this important debate. When Theresa May was Home Secretary, we saw immigration being taken out of scope for legal aid, and we have seen the effects of this over the last few weeks as this cruel, inhumane and unnecessary treatment of the Windrush generation and their families has been revealed. People unable to defend themselves against the weight of the Home Office and the hostile environment it has fostered. As a new MP, one of my first cases last year was with Mr Robinson, a resident of Jamaican descent who came to me for help. He had been living in this country for, since the 1970s, working and paying taxes his whole life here and making a valuable contribution. And he's proud that his son became a world champion boxer from working in a, as a storeman in Cardiff within just two days' notice, accepted a fight for the world featherweight and won. <laughs> Having never needed a passport since he lost his many decades ago, along with his naturalisation documents. When Mr Robinson tried to apply for a new passport so he could attend a wedding in Jamaica just last year, he was sent a letter saying they had no record of him and he needed to reapply for naturalisation and pay the fees, which he did. And then the Home Office told him he wasn't automatically entitled to citizenship. In the final letter, he was told that he had because he had failed to register his British, British citizenship upon Jamaica's independence, he'd been relinquished of his British nationality in place of a Jamaican one without his knowledge. And at 85, having been in this country for over 63 years, Mr Robinson is one of the oldest and one of the longest UK residents caught up in this fiasco. And just last week, I heard from an immigration lawyer representing students in Wales who are being rejected from university because their parents are from the Windrush generation. A student getting A stars in her exams wanted to be a doctor, but because she couldn't prove she was here in the United Kingdom legally, despite being born here, when the university discovered this, her benefits were stopped. She lost her part-time job and it's meant three generations of a family, one born here, the other two here for over 40 and 50 years, have been completely cut off from the right to housing, the right to accommodation, the right to benefits, and the right to continue to be in their jobs. That's why I am calling on this government to make legal aid available to all those applicants who are now forced to provide their immigration status in the UK and forced to prove it. They need that financial support and legal help to help them secure confirmation of their entitlement to British citizenship. The government can't undo the trauma, the pain, the suffering that has already been caused, but they can ensure people can access the legal aid, the support, the justice, and compensation that they deserve as valuable British citizens. Yeah. Yeah. Tom Tugendhat. Thank you very much for.